If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt to answer the question on your own before listening on. Because we have motion in one dimension, it's going to be helpful for us to organize the information into a sort of table. Now, we know that because the keys are moving upward, they are technically in free fall, even though they're not quite falling. And so the acceleration of the keys is considered to be negative 9.8 meters per second squared because of the influence of gravity. Keep in mind that when something is thrown straight up in the air, it is classified as free fall motion. In that way, we know the acceleration is negative 9.8. We know that it travels a vertical distance of four meters, so we can label our displacement as being four meters. And then the question gives us the amount of time that it took for the keys to reach the final position, so we'll fill that into the chart as well. Now we're being asked to calculate the initial velocity, so our goal is to find this value right here. We have the following equation from kinematics. Our goal is to find v naught, and so to do that, what we'd wanna do is subtract the one half at squared over to the left hand side of the equation. And then we would divide both sides of the equation by t, and that way we could isolate the v naught. Now at this point in the problem, it's simply a matter of plugging in the known values. Remember we have delta x, a, and t, so we'll go ahead and plug them in. And when we simplify that on our calculators, we get positive 10.0 meters per second for the initial velocity. The fact that it came out positive means that of course, the initial direction of that initial velocity is upward, which makes sense because she's throwing the keys upward. For part B, what was the velocity of the keys just before they were caught? That question is essentially asking us to compute the final velocity. So the initial velocity we just determined to be 10 meters per second upward. You can imagine the key initially being thrown upward. It's gonna travel up to the top of the window and then that's where her friend or his friend reaches out and catches the keys. Now we know that final velocity is equal to the initial plus acceleration times time. So all we really need to do is just plug in the known values. Again, the initial velocity was 10 meters per second. The acceleration is negative 9.8 and the time is 1.5. So we'll pick up our calculators and plug this in. And interestingly, when you compute that, you get a value of negative 4.7 meters per second. The fact that it's negative indicates that the direction of the velocity is actually downward. And so it might be rather curious how that's working. What it means actually is that when the keys were thrown upward, they went up, they stopped for just a moment, and then they turned around and started to come back down. And that's when the fraternity brother reached out and caught them. So he actually caught the keys on the way down as opposed to on the way up. So an interesting result, but again, the final answer for part B would be 4.7 meters per second downward. Since we're saying downward to indicate the direction, we can actually shave off this negative sign. And so this would be the final answer. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for other videos. Remember, you're welcome to send in your own question to this email address and I'll do my best to post an answer to it on YouTube.